Hello and welcome all my great hearts kiddos. So today we are painting our great hearts uniform self portraits. Um, so I'm going to guide you step by step today um, on how to make your own little self portrait. Let's double check and make sure we have all of our supplies. We have our paper that our little kit was wrapped up with. Let's put that underneath our canvas um, so that when we paint, we get our paper painting and not anything else. We have our little palette of paint. Our top plate is going to be the plate that we can mix colors on. So let's set that aside. And I'm going to scoop out these colors and I'm going to put them on the other plate. So you can set those little cups um, to the side for later. And I'm going to put all these colors on my other plate here. I have white, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, brown, black, and tan. I also have my paper towel and my brushes. So I have a purple, that one's my large brush. I have this white handled brush, that one's our medium brush. And then I have this little tiny blue brush, that one's gonna be our smallest brush. We're gonna start with our big brush. So we're gonna start with our background color. I'm going to make mine um, a bright, happy blue sky. So for that, I'm going to go to my palette here and I'm going to mix my white and my blue together. So I'm going to get a good scoop of white, put that off to the side, a little bit of blue, and we're going to do little mixes, little mixes, until you get a sky blue that you like. I like my blue like that maybe. Whenever you're ready for it, we are going to start filling in all of our sky. You can go a little faster in the bigger spaces. But as you get around those little areas maybe around the outlines take it real slow and if you need to kind of squeeze your brush into a smaller spot with a big brush instead of using a flat brush turn it use the thinner edge the little skinny part of that brush and then make small little lines like that so you can squeeze in between those little rays of your sun, we can squeeze maybe right in the corner of a neck. And we're going to fill in all of our background right up to the edge of our grass, around our tree, and around our apple.
While you have um, that color on your brush, we're also going to wrap it around and paint our side edges to match. You can leave a little spot open for the grass color that we can wrap around in just a little bit. You can leave a little spot for where the tree is going to go if you want, or you can just fill it in blue. Okay, so we have um, all of our background covered. If um, you want to change the hair, if you have down hair and you maybe want to make it um, a little straighter, you can always go in with a little of this blue while we have it and smooth over any of those lines that you need if you want. If you still see a little bit of the, the black peeking through, just layer it. Let this layer dry a little bit. And then just put another little layer on top and you'll be able to see it. So you can adjust the hair if you need. I'll leave, I'll kind of make this part a little smaller, a little straighter. And I'll leave this side curly or wavy. We'll have an opportunity um, when we're filling in the hair to make it a little bit more curly, if you want, and I'll show you that. If you have um, pigtails, you can make them a little smaller if you wanted. You can take down the, the hair on the top if you wanted. So you can adjust it at this point with the blue if you need. Same with the boy, if you want to take off those little pokey hairs or things like that, definitely can. So I'm going to wash off my brush and dry off my brush. And we're going to let our sky dry for a while. And we're going to fill in the white parts of our shirt. And if you have a jumper, all of your jumper. So I'm going to use my big brush. And I'm going into just white paint by itself. It's a little bit on your brush. And if you have a um, boy shirt, we're just going to go right over. You can cover over the, the GH. Going to fill it in. Make sure you get kind of the top of the, the book while you're there. Going to fill in the little collar and then we're gonna let this dry we'll come back later give a little outline so we have the shirt um, same with the girl she has shirt too gonna cover over the GH and don't worry if you get a little outside of the line on this one because we're gonna outline everything we're gonna cover everything in paint we're also going to fill in all of the skirt. Don't worry, you'll be able to see those lines underneath still. Just smooth out your paint. Get that top of the book. So you don't have to worry about it later. Smooth out your paint so you can see all your lines. It's going to be the same for the jumper as well. So we'll fill in all of the collar, all of the jumper. And we're gonna let that dry for a while. I'm gonna wash off my big brush, dry off my big brush, and I'm gonna fill in my grass next. So for that, I'm going to go into just green by itself. And we're just gonna fill in that whole um, space underneath the line to start.
if you have saved that bottom edge, it's the way we can wrap around the grass color on those little side edges. And then we are going to add a little bit of grass texture. So instead of a flat brush, we're going to turn it, use that thin part, and then into your grass, once you've already filled it in, we're going to hold our brush kind of straight up and down, and we'll sweep it up, 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 up. And that'll give us some grassy color. grassy texture. I'm going to go all the way around. We'll put in some uh, some yellows in this lighter to give it a little sparkle. Looks a little bit more grassy now. We're going to let that dry for a little bit. I'm going to do the same on um, the girl side. I washed off my big brush, I dried off my big brush, and I'm going to fill in my sun next. So I'm going to use that bright yellow just by itself, and I'm going to fill in over those lines. We're going to come back later once that's dry, and we're going to go over it in orange and black. Okay, so I washed off my big brush, I dried it off, and we're going to mix up our skin tone next. So for that, um, colors to make um, a nice skin tone, we have brown, I have this tan, and I have white. I also have red if you want to give it like a little pinkiness to it. Um, so if you want to make it lighter, darker, kind of whichever you need a little bit more of. But I have the tan, I can make it darker. I can go kind of medium, or I can go lighter. Make a good amount of this color, just in case you need to touch up a spot. Sometimes it's a little tough to, to mix up the same color again. So whichever you prefer, whichever matches you best. I'll show you what a little bit of that red, just a little bit, or else it might go kind of sunburned. Just give it a little rosiness. It's kind of nice. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit. It's a little warmth. You could do that to any of those. Just a little bit though, a little at a time. You can always add more. So you can go find your color. And then we're going to fill in over the nose. You can go over the eye. Fill in over that little line in the ear. It's okay if it gets a little inside the mouth. We're going to fill that in with black.
Okay, so I'm going to use such brushes. Um, I'm going to go to the medium brush next. And let's fill in our little apple guy real quick. So I'm going to use a little bit of red. And we're going to fill in our apple. While I have the red on my brush, I'm also going to fill in my book color. And the tongue. If you wanted to do the tongue like a kind of a light pink, you could do a little white and red to make more of a pinky color. If you need. So after that part, I'm going to mix up my tree color next. I'm going to get a good amount of brown and a little bit of black. And we're going to make a dark brown. Dark, dark brown. And put looks around there. And we're going to fill in our tree. If you need to go to that smaller brush, Go for it, maybe for the little points of the tree, but let's start with this medium brush. You can turn it to the side to squeeze it into some smaller spots if you need to. And it's okay if it gets a little bit bigger than the line there, because trees are bumpy. These are natural, so they can be kind of as bumpy or smooth as you want them to be. Since this is a darker color than our sky, it'll go right over top any of the blue that might be behind it. They get that little stem of the apple. We're going to keep using our medium brush, and if you have uh, dark brown hair, you can use a similar color to your tree. I'm going to fill in maybe hers. We'll do kind of half and half. We'll do kind of a brown, we'll do a black. And then, so if you have brown hair, I'm going to put this kind of the straighter side. Mm -hmm. You can fill in the wavy side. Now, 
I'll show you a little trick on the wavy side if you want a little bit more wave in there. Once you kind of fill in all that space, a little bit more curve into the wet paint while you're filling that in. Kind of use the thin part of your brush and give it a little wiggle. And that puts a few more little waves, curls into the hair. You can do that with that small brush as well. You can do that with the long hair too, kind of longer strands. But it looks really nice, really pretty with the, with the curl in there. Bring it all the way down. I'll show you a mixture um, if, if you need to do like a blonde. Instead, I'll show you a good color combo for that. You can make this brown darker, lighter, whatever matches you. You can make it a little curly on the edge. And play with that paint. So for more of a blondy color, um, we're going to keep using the medium brush. I washed it off. Um, so, yellow, a little of that tan color, and a little white. I'm going to mix it all up, see what you think. If you want it kind of a, a darker blonde, you can add just like a little bit of brown to it also. Let's see what you think. Maybe I'll make that makes kind of that color. So by this time, our grass should be a little bit dry. I'm going to go back to the grass and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to use my medium brush. I washed it off. I dried it off. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow. And just like we did before, I'm using the thinner part of that brush and I'm swooshing up. Later on, we'll put those little dots of white. Put as little or as much as you want. I'm gonna do that on both.
Okay, so we are going to let that guys dry for a little bit. And um, for our boys, we can fill in the shorts next um, with our medium brush. Um, if you are working on a girl, we're going to switch to that smallest brush. But um, hang tight, we're going to add on the shorts next. So um, either way, I am going to mix up a dark blue, so kind of that navy blue. And so for both the girls and the boys, we're going to mix up this color. I'm going to get mostly blue on a spot here. And just a little bit of black. And we're going to make a, a nice dark blue. Mix it on up to get a color that you like. So my color looks about there. It looks a little darker on camera than in life. A little bit more blue, maybe. Thank you. And so for the boys, um, I'm going to fill in all the shorts. If you wanted to do pants, you can just make them a little longer. Since this is a dark color, kind of mark where you want your pants to go, maybe about there. And just extend that short. If you want to keep it short, just fill it right up to that line. So for our girls, we're going to switch to our smallest brush for all of our last little details. Um, so to make this brush nice and pointy, we're going to kind of twist and turn into that dark blue that we all mixed. Twist and turn, kind of sharpen it, twirl, drag. That makes that brush nice and pointy. And for our skirts, um, if you see here, there's um, kind of two stripes that are a little closer together. We're going to fill in, in between those two lines. Right there. And then we're going to find our next two lines that are kind of close together. You can cover the Sharpie line, that's okay. For our jumpers, it's going to be the same. We're finding those two lines that are kind of closer together, filling them in, and then on the pockets also. Okay, so on our skirts, we're going to let that dry a little bit, and then we're going to go around our shirt. We're going to do the same thing for our boy shirts also. Take it nice and slow. Keep that brush kind of guiding along on the very, very end of that brush. If you feel the metal part of that brush, Press it a little too hard, following all those outside edges with the same dark blue. 
little collar, the sleeves. I'm also going to follow my GH from the Great Hearts on the shirt for both the boys and the girls, if you have a skirt for the girls. Now on the jumper, if you can get it with that brush, awesome, go for it. It's a little bit smaller because it's on the little collar here. Um, if you have a little marker, you can also go over it and a little marker at the very end if you need. Also for the jumpers, there's that little bit of dark blue in the little, the little bows or the little ties above the ears. So I went around his shirt here. Oh, I think it missed a little part of the collar. Book. So I went around all those lines. I didn't go over this one. It's up to you if you do. And that part's going to be... Um, the belt. So we're gonna go over that line with black either way. And then on hers, I did go around the edges of the skirt or the jumper with the dark blue also. We're gonna let that dry a little bit. I washed off my brush, I dried off my brush, and I'm gonna go over here to my sun and I'm gonna add some orange to it. So I'm going to grab um, my little blue brush. Again, I did wash it. I did dry it. And I'm going to fill in those little sun rays. I'm also going to fill in the little mouth. And I'm also going to give it a little trace with orange around the edge. Okay, so I'm going to fill in that tan on the skirt slash jumper next. Same little brush. I did wash. I did dry. I'm going to use a little of that tan. If you want a little bit more yellowy, you can add a little yellow to it. Add a little yellow. Add it to the tan. Mix it up. And this is going to go in between your blue lines so it's gonna do one little line if you want to do a couple of them you can I'm just gonna do one I also want two on the jumper I also did one little line in between and then a little line in between on the pockets also Let's fill in a few spots of black next. So, 
using that a little blue brush. I did wash off, I did dry off. I'm gonna get just a little bit of black and let's do the eyes first. Those are gonna need the most time to dry so we can put just that little touch of white, little sparkle in the eye, fill in the whole entire eye. If you wanna go over the eyelashes, you can, or if you have a marker at home, you wanna do it a little bit smaller. You can do it with a marker. I'm gonna do it with my brush. Um, I'm not gonna go over the eyebrows or the nose with black. I'll make it um, brown, just so it's a little softer. But you can definitely go over with black if you really want to, that's okay. I'm gonna fill in the top part of the mouth. Take it nice and slow with the black. Tends to get very smudgy. Just take it real slow. I'm also going to fill in my shoes. Going around the little top part. And then the last spot that I'm going to add a little bit of black. Oh, well, sun eyes. Let's not forget those. Sun eyes. And then this little cross line on the skirt. I'm going to do that with black too. So I'm going to follow it across. There's going to be about three, there might be four lines on your skirt. If you have four, you might have one there. So we have our skirt. I did the same thing with the jumper. I just did it on those cross lines on there and then a little bit on the pockets. On my dude over here I'm going to fill in the eyes I'm also going to fill in the belt I think on um, my example I filled in the square in the center with black also but if you want um, to do different color there maybe like a, a golden color yellowy goldy color or gray, you can, but I'm going to fill it in with black, and then I'm going to fill in the shoes. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit, especially in the eyes. Um, I forgot to paint that one in black. I'm gonna paint that one in black here in just a little bit. But I am going to go over the eyebrows and the kind of the edges of the face with a little bit of brown. If you need to go a little darker, a little lighter, I'll go for it. I just wanna be able to, to see it a little bit. So I'm gonna go around the ears, I'm gonna go around the Eyebrow. I'm going to go over the nose. I'm going to do this for the girls and the boys. And then I'm going to go on the edge of the face. And then I will go around the arms too.
Okay, guys, we are getting to our last little steps here. Um, so let's go to our tree, same tiny little blue brush, um, and let's add some little leaves on our tree. So I'm going to use just green by itself. And then I'm going to make kind of little commas, maybe. And I think of them as little, little commas. Kind of push them maybe forward, forward. You can have some kind of falling down if you want to. Some on the ends. As many or as few as you like. They can be in little pairs, look really cute. Or you can have single ones. As many as you like. I'm also going to fill in that little leaf. And this is going to be for both girls and boys. We have the same the tree. We have that little leaf on the apple. And then any leaves on the tree that you want. To do and add those on. So we have some leaves. Now I need some flowers over here. I'm gonna use this little brush, but I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna use that back handle into a little bit of white paint. I did white flowers, but if you want to mix up a pink like white and red to make a pinky color. You could do a purple with blue and red. Orange flowers might be pretty too. You can get the little back part, dip it into your paint. I'm just gonna press and lift. So I'm gonna go over here to my grass. I'm gonna press and lift. Each time you add one, your dot will get just a little bit smaller. So if you want them all the same size, Get a little fresh paint every two or three, maybe. And put them in our grass. I have a couple more little details of white before we do the whites in the eyes. I'm going to take my little tiny brush and I'm switching back over to my um, bristle side, brushy side. And on the shoes, I'm going to give it a little sweep of white on the shoe. Same for the boy side. A little sweep on the top because he has shiny shoes, because it's fancy. And also on the boy, I'm going to kind of trace his belt and give him like the little buckle on the belt. You can trace it all around. I have a little buckle if you want to do like an extra little scratch to like bring it out a little bit more, a little bit more belty. Like that. I'm also going to add a little highlight of white on the apple and then a little bit more paint on my brush. And then it's a shiny apple. So right here on the corner, I'm going to do a little sweep, a little sparkle. I'll show you that again on this guy. Just a little sweep, a little sparkle on the apple. There we are. And then our last, last little step for the paint. We're going to get a little bit of white and on those eyeballs all the eyeballs so sun eyeballs and people eyeballs I'm gonna do a little poke and a lift a little poke and a lift on hers make sure they're going the same direction if I put one here kind of a little bit at the top I want one a little bit at the top the same place the little sparkle in the eyes now. Same on our boy over here. Little poke, little poke. Yay! 
awesome guys if there's anything else you want to add go for it maybe we can put our little artist signature in the corner I always like to put my initial you can put the date you can put your name you can put your initial and then we need to find a really good space for it on the wall thank you so much for painting with us today these are beautiful please share your pictures if you take pictures we love to see and we'll see you next time guys bye